Today's video is about increasing the number of eggs in your clutch. Now I know that a few of you may be concerned about this idea as people tell us they want quality, not quantity. Again, I have asked Malcolm, our technical director, to come along and explain. Welcome back, Malcolm. Thank you. <laughs> and what do you think about this subject, Malcolm? Um, I think one of the things that uh, I get concerned about is that people do worry about quality and quantity. Um, and the reality is that shouldn't matter. Um, the genetic potential of every baby is the same, depending on how it's, uh, where, what its parents are. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's the hundredth baby or the first baby doesn't make any difference. And so long as they're fed properly, then they have the same chance. So you can produce a hundred birds with the same genetic potential, or you can produce 20 birds with the same genetic potential. Okay. Well, do you have any examples of this? Um, I guess yes. Um, if I think back a few years to uh, a German customer of ours called Michael Sesterhen. Michael was, uh, well, was the most successful zebra finch breeder in Germany uh, at the time. Um, and he won all the shows and he was incredibly successful. Um, and we persuaded him to put uh, his, his birds on our supplement package yep. and the result was he produced more than twice as many babies. He actually ran out of rings that <laughs> breeding season and he produced those babies in a much shorter time. He did it in two clutches instead of three mm -hmm. um, and more importantly again the birds grew very successfully um, to the point that instead of using last year's birds in his show team he started to exhibit only current year baby birds and he still beat other people's previous year birds. That is good. <laughs> so when you get it right, yes. you can produce a lot of birds and you can produce a lot of quality. Okay. So how do we do it though? Uh, well, I guess the, the same as we've talked about before, uh, we have to get the, the fundamentals right in the yeah. diet. So we talked in previous videos about uh, increasing the protein level and bringing the birds into breeding condition and we need to do all of that. Um, but uh, the main thing as far as egg, con um, egg construction is concerned is to have enough calcium and to have the, uh, the regulatory processes inside the bird functioning properly. So uh, yeah, what we do is we provide them with the right sort of calcium and that basically means chelated calcium. Right. So what are the symptoms of calcium related problems? There are probably five main, uh, main symptoms. The first one is soft eggs or even eggs without shells at all. Mm -hmm. uh, bizarrely, there is the opposite of that. We see birds producing thick eggs. They tend to be very wavy on the surface. They're not yeah. even thickness. They tend to look very chalky. They're quite matte. They're not very shiny. Uh, and that's a good example of where we actually believe this is not a deficiency in calcium that causes the problem, but an inability for the bird to regulate how it produces the eggshell properly. Mm -hmm. um, we get um, uh, smaller clutch sizes, which of course was the main topic of this video. So yes, uh, you may produce a, a clutch of three, maybe your, your birds could produce five or six. Yeah. Again, with some birds like zebra finches, we've had babies um, out of clutches of 10, 11 and 12, Gosh. all fit healthy baby birds that the adults are having no problem rearing. Um, and uh, we get um, another major problem is egg binding. So when the, egg, when the uh, hens aren't able to produce eggs properly, mm -hmm. when they get short of calcium, their nerves and their muscles stop functioning. And at that point, they can't push the egg out. And that's tragic because egg bound birds can die. Yeah. And it, so it's really, really important that we address that issue. And I think one of the things that I believe passionately in is that we should deal with egg binding by preventing it. We do have a lot of people that say, oh, I don't need to give a calcium supplement because um, my hens are fine. And then they get egg bound. Oh, so I'll give them some calcium now. Yeah. Well, don't wait. You're losing clutch size. You're yeah. losing a whole pile of other things. Okay. So are there any other things that might help? Um, yes, there are. Um, we mentioned a product of ours called Potent Brew, um, and uh, we used that to bring birds into breeding condition. Okay. But some research that was done at Sparshall Agricultural College also showed that birds that were on uh, Potent Brew produced more eggs. Now, they did that on partridges, 
Um, so you know, not a commonly kept cage bird, but nevertheless, uh, potent brew has given us a lot of benefits and some of the others we'll talk about in future videos as well. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, thanks again for coming along, Malcolm, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Good.